Hi, I'm Rebecca Gunther with www.m5a1photography.com and I'm going to give you just a really quick tutorial on black and white film photography. With black and white film, there's really a lot that you can do. It starts with the ASA that you choose. A smaller ASA, like 1 or 200, is going to have what is called smaller grain, whereas if you choose something like 3200 speed, it's going to have bigger grain. The difference in how you choose that is going to be based on whether you're shooting with a lot of light, you can use 1 or 200 for that, all the way down to if you're shooting with very, very little light, that would be 3200. And um, after you shoot that, you know, you're going to make that choice on, uh, you know, do you want the bigger grain? You can even shoot with the bigger grain in more light and it just gives a different effect then you're going to want to go develop the film. You can bring it to a place or you can very easily find the chemicals and do it yourself at home. And usually the film that you buy comes with a piece of paper that will tell you the time of the developer that it's needed. Um, then, of course, you're going to want to find a dark room again or bring it to a place that can print it for you and go ahead and print it whatever size you want, do whatever you want to it, and that's a little bit about black and white film photography.